This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 2, number 91. Evaluate each expression. So here we're given um, fractional exponents, right, for A through D. And we want to go ahead and simplify. So when we see this, we know this is the same thing as 100 to the power of 3 over 1 times 1 half, right? So this 100 can, um, basically, we can do multiplication in any order, right? We can multiply 3 over 1, and that's the same as 100 time to the power of 1 half times 3 over 1, right? Since multiplication can happen in any order, these are the same thing, right? Just swapping the what which one we're multiplying first, okay? So if we're going to do that, then we, we can go ahead and do, well, 100 to cube first, which is going to make it a bigger number, or we can go ahead and look at 100 to the 1 half power first, right? This means we can put the parentheses here, or we can put the parentheses here, all right? So which one you want to choose really depends on the numbers. So I know that 1 half is going to make 100 smaller, so I'm going to start here. Because 1 half, remember, is just going to be the same as taking the square root, right? Because it's in the denominator, 100, right? And we still have 3 over 1 on the outside as the power. The square root, we can even write that without the 2. We, already, we know that the square root of 100, right? Just like we could write 3 over 1 without the 1 in the denominator. What is square root of 100? Well, what times what equals 100? If you multiply 10 by itself, that's equal to 100. 10 times 10 is 100. And then cubed, right? We're just simplifying. 10 cubed is just 10 times 10 times 10, right? 10 times 10 is 100 times 10 is 1,000, right? So this is the answer to part A when we're trying to simplify x to the power, I mean x, 100 to the power of 3 halves. That's equal to 1,000. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to part B. Part B, we're given 27 to the power of negative 3, negative 2 over 3. Again, we can write this as 27 to the power of negative 2 over 1 times 1 over 3, right? Or we can write this as 27 to the power of 1 over 3, negative 1 over 3 times 2 over 1, right? Either order. Right? Okay? So if we do this, what is that going to help? What is that going to change here? So which should we do first? Okay? Um, we can even move the negative sign, right? This can be 27 to the power of 1 third times negative 2 over 1. This works too, right? We can change the order of multiplication in the exponent. That's fine. Okay? So if I do that, which one is gonna? am I going to do first? Well, do I know the cube root of 27? Yes, I do. So let me go ahead and do this first, right? 27 then to the 1 third power times negative 2 over 1 is where I'm, the one I'm going to choose. So I'm going to look at this first. That's just the cube root of 27. I'm going to rewrite the 1 third power as the cube root. And I still have the power of negative 2 over 1 on the outside. Well, what times itself 3 times equals 27? Well, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. So I know the cube root of 27 is the same as 3, right? So I have 3 to the power of negative 2, right? I can write negative 2 over 1 as negative 2. And what is 3 to the power of negative 2? Well, that's the same thing as 1 over 3 to the positive 2. Right, because the negative 2 means I could just take the reciprocal of 3. That's going to put it in the denominator and make it a positive instead of a negative. Okay, so what is 3 squared? Well, I know 3 squared is 9. So 27 to the power of negative 2 thirds is just 1 over 9. That is evaluated and simplified. All right, <clears throat> let's go on to part C. Part C, we have... 125 divided by 27 to the power of 2 thirds. Okay, so again, we're going to break up that exponent, the numerator and denominator, right? So we're going to have 
2 over 1 times 1 over 3. And we can do this in either way. That's the same as 125 over 27 to the power of 1 over 3 times 2 over 1. See how I can change the order? And it keeps it the same because multiplication can happen in either order. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to use this because I know the cube root of 125 and the cube root of 27, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say 125 over 27 to the power of 1 third. And then I'm going to put that outside here, the 2 over 1. Again, that's writing it just the same thing over again. The one third again is going to be the cube root. So that's going to be the cube root of 125 over 27 to the power of 2 over 1 or 2. What is the cube root of 125? Well, I know 125 is just 5 times 5 times 5 or 5 cubed. And 27 is 3 times 3 times 3 or 3 cubed, right? So the cube root is going to cancel with those. Right, I'm just rewriting it. The cube root is going to cancel with the cubes here. So that's just going to be 5 over 3, right, when I cancel the cube root and the power of 3 here. So 5 over 3 just squared. Okay, so remember this gets distributed to both the numerator and the denominator. So that's 5 squared over 3 squared. And 5 squared is 25, and 3 squared is 9. All right. So this is simplifying 125 over 27 to the power of 2 thirds to 25 over 9. Okay, let's go on to the last part, part D. Part D, we're not given a, new, a number in the numerator. We have a to the power of 6 over 27 to a fractional exponent. So we can do this in the same way as we've been doing. That's equal to a to the 6th power over 27. I'm keeping it the same. Let's split this up. So that's negative 2 over 1 times 1 over 3. And I could change the order or move around the negative here if I wanted. So let's go ahead and rewrite that as a to the 6 over 27 to the power of 1 over 3 times negative 2 over 1. Okay. Then I'm going to take the power of 1 third first. And then I'm going to do negative 2 over 1 or just negative 2 after. Okay? So instead of making this the cube root, I'm just going to distribute this. Right? I'm going to say a to the 6 to the 1 third over 27 to the 1 third. All to the power of negative 2. I'm going to simplify. Well, when I have 6 and 1 third there, I multiply. So that means... 6 times 1 third is 6 over 3. 27 to the 1 third power I know is just the cube root. So what multiplied by itself 3 times equals to 27? I know 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, so that's 3. All to the power of negative 2. Okay. So what is a to the 6 over 3? Let me simplify that. A well, 6 divided by 3 is 2, so that's a squared over 3. To the power of, we still have negative 2. How can I make this positive? Well, I can take the reciprocal of this, right? The reciprocal is going to be 3 over a squared, and now that's positive 2. And now I can distribute it, right, to the numerator and denominator. That's 3 squared over a squared squared. 3 squared is 9. a squared squared, if you multiply the 2 times 2, is going to be 4. So we have 9 over a to the 4th, right, as the simplified expression a to the 6 over 27 to the power of negative 2 thirds. All right. So that ends for us CPM Precalculus Chapter 2, number 91.